Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with the, the Baby, Baby Chimps. Chimps. Go ahead, Matt. Oh. Take it away. Well, take it away. Sing, sing a little song or something like that? If, you, if your heart desires. The, 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 song of, the song of your attention. How do we <laughs> get your uh, interest? Well, you know, I'm, I'm Matthew, and I play guitar, and I sing. Oh, that's very interesting, Matthew. Yeah. Is it? It is. My name is Easton James Morgan. Wow. I was born <laughs> on October 23rd, 2004. 04. Okay, right on. I will not on. tell you my social security number. Well, but that's probably I play the drums, and now it's Xavier's turn. Hi, my Spelt name. with an I. Yes, Xavier with an I. I-X-A-V-I-E-R. That's my name. Uh, I'm not going to go as deep as Mr. Morgan over here, no. but I play the bass. Uh, actually, I've never played bass in my life. This is a big yeah. guitar <laughs> with four strings, and that's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. There Derek and I joke that it's the man's guitar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the big yes. man's guitar. Yeah. Baby Chimps, I love the name. I guess this is what it's like hanging out with Baby Chimps. Yeah. I don't uh -oh. even know what else to say. It, it just You ever play a game, Barrel of Monkeys? Oh, they're yeah. They're like little tiny things that... That's all that's in my head. That's really all I got there for. Hey, that's what being at a baby chimp show is like. It's like playing barrel full of monkeys. Yeah. A lot of times it's strip poker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I've been there for those shows. <laughs> I don't remember that well, show. You've been in the band the whole time. <laughs> See, he's lying. You've got some great fits, though. I mean, that would be a tough strip poker game. I mean, you've got... Yeah. I, I like the TCB necklace. Dude, yes, sir. For yes, taking sir. care of business. Exactly. Maybe you've heard of it. That's what it's all about. Yeah, taking That's care of business. Here. And then old boy with the Basquiat shirt, styling. Yes. We I love, love the, the fine art yeah. aspect here. I love the... And I love I'm just art. over here looking homeless. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a velociraptor well, I mean, yeah, behind the, the drum set. Coaster. <laughs> Fastest roller coaster in the world, bro. I don't know about the world. Oh, well. Where is that? Where, what part of the world? Is that the Florida world? That's the Florida, up in Orlando. In O-Town. O-Town, yes. And you survived it? What's that? You survived it? The Velocicoaster? Nearly. And then they gave you the shirt? <laughs> 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 no, I found it at, um, I was, I was going to say Winn-Dixie. What's that, what's that what their store called? Wendy's Closet? No. It was the Goodwill pickup. The, the, the Red the Goodwill. Yes. Salvation Army. Oh, no. The Red Goodwill. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, you guys got a funky, groovy, rockin' style. I love the bass playing. You know, I got to go back. Uh, there was a song where you were playing the, you know, the kind of like the rhythm and the, and oh, the lead yeah, there at style. the same yeah. time using that. Yeah, and that's then you good old switched bass. up and brought the pick out on separate times. Yeah. Again, Matt, you're talk, talking to about like the four string bass. So I love the technique that yeah. you brought there. Um, switched out the, the, the sound there. Thank you. Uh, I mean, that was all like, I think it was like a whim. We were just in practice and I was just fooling around and uh, that's usually how most of the songs go it's like fooling around joking around and then all of a sudden it's like hey man that sounds pretty good yeah so yeah it was a cool effect like you dropped out and you were singing you're getting into it and I noticed that you weren't playing guitar I'm like oh where's that extra sound coming from oh I know yeah yeah no uh, Xavier Xavier's bass parts have taken on such a life of their own in the songs that we had you know before he joined the lineup and so you know now that he's in the band, I, like I can have more fun like by dropping out sometimes because he's doing so many cool things on the bass there. So yeah, he's, you mentioned like the jazzy influences and definitely rock and roll. I mean, I kind of got some some Jack White vibes. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but yeah, um, definitely like good hard rock and roll there, with with a great groove. Dude, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, um, we kind of fell into like this pop punk type genre you know because we started out playing blues we were a blues trio for a while there you know doing like a lot of zz top and stevie ray vaughn stuff and then i don't know it's just we're kind of yeah, finding our own style i and know stuff. we played together probably like a year or so ago over at the orpheum yeah yeah but you know and i've seen you play around so to hear your sound it, it's evolved at least in the year i think you mentioned he had Join, how long you guys been playing together? So with this current lineup, it's been since December of last year. So so just a little over the six, seven month mark. And um, yeah, we, ha we have so much fun with this lineup because it's like we really just have a great chemistry um, between the three of us. And it shows like we just have so much fun on stage and like in the studio, you know, uh -oh. the writing. Uh, oh, you say, uh-oh. <laughs> 
That's all I'll say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Studio time is quite fun with us. It's like trying to like train like elementary school boys how to like have manners, and that it never ends well. Uh, yeah, no, because needless to say, there's no there, we don't, no manners come out of the no manners those rehearsals. You know, <laughs> and on that tune, I'd like to thank Miss Emily Sheehan. Yes, Emily Sheehan. She puts our, up with us. And yes, she's our manager. And takes some would call she harassment. Care, she takes care of business, though. She TCVs to the fullest. Yeah, you guys have been, um, you know, kind of like a barrel of monkeys here trying to get the podcast to go. But it's yeah. been a very, like, grooving barrel of monkeys. But they're very professional, yeah, because they came in there. The set list already printed up yeah. and um, on the professional end. Like I said, I know we played a gig together, and I'm sure you bring that professionalism um to the shows and yeah i mean it's goofy but it's great because like i said i I can tell you probably thought a little bit about the clothes or maybe not maybe you just sleep like that but i always sleep in the suit the suit stays on okay and that's a level of dedication that i think you see at a baby chimp show absolutely i said we had a hard time keeping the wheels on a bit here to a degree but in a fun way and uh you should definitely if you get if you see him on a bill man i I speaking of shows you you got some coming up right yeah, yeah. Um, our next one is uh, July 6th. We're playing at Oscura with a lot of fun bands. We have some friends in Just Courtesy and Neon Guillotine. And so, yeah, come on, check that out. Sci-Fi Night, too. So it's like got a cool theme going on. Uh, what theme are, are we going to be? What, do, what, do you, what theme do you think the Baby Jaws? Chimps should take on for Sci-Fi I'll be Sci-Fi the Big Shark. Night? I'll be the Big Shark from Jaws. Big Shark from Jaws. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. I'll what be, about you, Easton? I'll be E.T.'s finger. <laughs> Solid choice. Good. Solid choice. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess I got to be Marty McFly then, you know, Ooh. from Back to the Future. Is that okay. where you got the gu- guitar from? The, the guitar, this is crazy. Um, Sam Ash, rest in peace, um, found, <laughs> this, <laughs> found this at a Sam Ash, um, and it was like 500 bucks, which is like for... Pricey. Y- well, you know, I mean, but the thing is, that they only made, Gibson only made uh, this guitar. It's a blues hawk. They only made them for a few years in the late 90s and early 2000s. So, yeah, it's got a cool, it's got a cool sound to it. It's got like a dummy coil in the back here um, that kills the hum from the P90s. And yeah, it's, it's got a cool crunch to it. This is like my main guitar that I play. It's a 1998 Gibson Blues Hawk. Oh yeah, it looks a lot more lightweight than playing like a Les Paul too. Oh yeah, yeah, because I, I play a couple of Les Pauls too and it's like night and day when you're playing like a two hour show with a Les Paul versus like this thing. It's, and it's almost like a little super strat cause it's got the F hole cutouts. Um, and it's got like, you know, the, the cutaway on the back there. So it's, it's got like strat like qualities. And then of course the profile on the neck of a Gibson that I love, which is like, you know, a chunkier, almost telly style neck, but not quite. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's my first foray into Gibson's cause I was a strat guy before. And, uh, yeah. The girth is a little, Thinner, I'd say. All right, brother. <laughs> yeah, on the musician, and I, I do appreciate too the setup. You guys both run those GT one hundred, those the hundred multi yeah, effects. I run yeah. that same thing on that, and I use the the one on my bass. So when you came here to play, like uh, the podcast specifically, it was much better having you guys go directly in. You know, the sound quality was really easy to work with, and you know, if you've played you know, a bunch of gigs and open mics or music out, you know, yeah. you get sick of bringing out amps and all this extra stuff. Absolutely. So it's really nice to be able to pack everything up into my one case and like a backpack with backup. Dude, literally know, like equipment heavy on the big backpack that has all of the gear in it. I mean, cause yeah, I mean, and it's cool. Like I love playing out of like, you know, a, a fender basement with like all of the traditional like pedals and stuff like that. But you know, uh, getting into, the boss gt1 and re- really being able to create uh, some cool tones and effects and stuff and also again just have the portability of it is really cool yeah you can make your own signature sounds and stuff yeah and a lot of these venues it's like you, it, you're either going to be a huge band where you can need that equipment or these venues have like really great pa there anyway yeah you know, they're going to have oh, yeah. the low end that you need absolutely man cool no i mm. love the style yeah thank you bro thank you yeah it's it's a it's a lot of fun i mean the band has taken on so many cool new identities over the, especially the last year because easton joined the band beginning of last year yes and um and really when he joined it was just it was like a new band and then of course when xavier joined it just was even better i mean you're seeing all the cool stuff he's doing on the bass there 
All right, man. And so for people that dig your sound and want to follow you, where can uh, what's the best way to connect with what you got going on? Yeah, so, you know, at the Baby Chimps on all socials, uh, we have not trademarked the name, um, but, you know, we're the only ones out there. <laughs> It was at Duh Baby Chimps. Yeah, it was at Duh Baby Chimps, and then then we got we got serious. We went the we went baby professional. Chimps. Yes, baby adding that letter is huge, man. It's like it really is like taking such a big step. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. Proper. Yes, proper. The Baby Chimps is a proper band. No, f- no f- tomfoolery. Or no, no shenanigans. No, 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 absolutely no shenanigans whatsoever. No funny business. Most professional and prolific band since the Beatles. That's right. We invented here music. Here to here. <laughs> we invented music, yes. Everything before us was a mistake. Blink-182 took our style. That's true. And I'm still angry about it. That happens sometimes, man. I mean, it's just the way she goes. <laughs> well, uh, don't fret. Go see these guys support live music. And I appreciate you guys being on. Well, I'm sure we'll get a pl- chance to play again hey, someday. Uh, absolutely. Thanks for having us, bro. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I love you. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye.